very good evening to you ladies and gentlemen. I am so proud to be here once again this year as we celebrate our brilliant musicians throughout the district. I would like to let you know that for family members who may not have been able to make it with you this evening, this is being streamed live right now at palmbeachschools.org or on Comcast channel 234. So if friends at home want to watch, they certainly can. Now, the children are backstage, but they can absolutely hear you. Some of them are a little nervous, but they are all ready. How about a big round of applause so they know how excited you are.
its name. You, you can, can make, make it a song, you can make it a game, and it goes like this. Indians, a western mass, made up this name with rhythm and class. It tells of fishing by the lakeside scenes. Listen as we tell you just what it all means. You fish on your side. I fish on my side. Nobody fishes in the middle. You fish on your side. I fish on my side.
Ladies and gentlemen, the elementary honors chorus, the voices of angels, don't you agree? I was sitting backstage thinking many of us ran into a lot of traffic on Okeechobee driving here and it was very stressful. There's no way you can be stressed after listening to those glorious voices. The arts are alive and well in Palm Beach County. Speaking of angels, if an angel gets its wings every time it hears a bell, there are going to be a lot of angel's wings about to sprout. I'm now pleased to announce the Honors Handbell Ensemble, conducted by Mr. Emmanuel Fergil and Ms. Veronica Johnson.
I think they're feeling the love. They'll be performing again a little bit later on in the show, so they'll be able to feel a little bit more love then. You guys, you were fantastic. Thank you so much. And I'm sure that all of our students would agree that you are a wonderful audience. Everyone in this room who played a role in bringing these children here to the Kravis Center. You have bragging rights. Your children are performing in the Kravis Center. That's just amazing. Spotlight on Young Musicians enables our students to really express themselves through the arts, and your support is invaluable to these children and also to their teachers. Arts and education expresses their knowledge in many, many artistic ways, helps them develop all sorts of things, even helps them in math and other academics, and also self-confidence. Look at the confidence it takes to perform before an audience of this size. Involvement in the arts also has a direct link, as I mentioned, to higher education achievement. According to the National Education Association, the arts play a key role in developing social competencies among educationally and economically disadvantaged children who are at the greatest risk of dropping out of school. Former Congressman Barbara Jordan said it best, and I quote, the arts are not a frill, the arts are a response to our individuality, and to our nature. They help shape our identity. What is there that can transcend deep differences and stubborn divisions? The arts. They have a wonderful universality. Arts has the potential to unify, and you see that every day when you watch children perform. It can speak in many languages without a translator. The arts do not discriminate. The arts can lift us up, and we certainly have been lifted up this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, our show now continues with the extraordinary High School Honors Choir under the direction of Jamie Bryan. This text, titled Through the Dark, 
I want to share with you all tonight and is written by Helen Keller. Through the dark, I sense a holy passion, music that beats with the pulses of God. God is in me, the light in my darkness, the voice in my silence. I feel the flames of eternity in my soul. I possess the light which shall give me vision a thousandfold when death sets me free.
It really takes a village to bring this event together. So many teachers, so many community volunteers, the hard work of the students, the parents who are encouraging their students every step of the way. We would really like to re really recognize the uh, dedication of all the educators for their professionalism to the students and the community. We would also like to recognize the many people who have since passed since the inception of this program 25 years ago. At this time, let's please take a brief pause in honor of all of those people. We would also like to invite our school principals, our school administrators, and school board members in attendance to please stand up and be recognized for the great contributions that you have made towards this program. And on that note, we would like to welcome a couple of people to the stage who really were there at the inception of Spotlight on Young Musicians. Ms. Pearl Kreps and Ms. Annette Johnson, we would love to welcome you both to the stage right now. Thank you so much. The Spotlight Partners would like to recognize you for having the foresight to shine the spotlight on all of these talented children 25 years ago. Did you ever think that 25 years later we would be standing here at the Kravis Center celebrating these children and hearing their joyful music? Not at all. <laughs> yes, you knew it all along. You're being too modest. Thank you so very much. We hope you're enjoying the performance. Thank you so much. Thank you. And congratulations to the School District of Palm Beach County. The district was just awarded the Best Communities for Music Education by the National Association of Music Merchants Foundation for 2017. The school district, get this, is one of only 4%, 4% of all districts across the nation to receive that prestigious award. Uh, so much talent. The next ensemble represents the Youth Orchestra of Palm Beach County. Now, the children involved in this, they come from all across our enormous county. Since 1993, the mission of YOPBC really has been to provide young musicians with exceptional music education and performance opportunities while developing an appreciation of classical music within the community. Currently, YOPBC has 180 musicians. Now, these kids range in age from 6 to 22. Four orchestras, training, string, symphony, and philharmonic, plus numerous chamber ensembles, quite of talent there. The orchestra season is from the end of August through May, so they're together quite a long time. And they also have a summer program in June and July. If you would like more information on this, simply go to their website, which is www.yopbc.org. I know you would like to hear more wonderful music now, so let's welcome to the stage YOPBC String Orchestra under the direction of Susan Rodberg.
the Youth Orchestra of Palm Beach County. Fantastic job. <laughs> Okay, who's ready for some more handbells? <laughs> the kids certainly fell in love last time, but they're feeling it again now. Now they're going to be playing four songs for you. God Bless the USA by Lee Greenwood, Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen, Dancing Queen by Alba, and Wade in the Water, a traditional spiritual.
Wonderful job, once again, by the Handbell Ensemble. Great job, kids. I'm sure you guys might probably saw the uh, headlines lately. Our school districts, musicians in the news. The First Lady of China and our First Lady went to Bach Middle School of the Arts to listen to performers there. Students at SD Spady Elementary performed in New York City at the 2017 Carnegie Hall Children's Choir Series. Spanish River High School's marching band will be performing in the Independence Day Parade in Washington, D.C. And the Park Vista Band will be performing in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade in 2018. As evident by tonight's performances, the school district of Palm Beach County and the district overall takes great pride in our arts programs. These programs would not be available the way they are. You wouldn't see such rich talent. We wouldn't have partners like the Kravis Center without the unwavering support of our superintendent and our school board members. Mr. Chuck Shaw is the longtime chairman of the school board. He is 
always putting children first, and I have witnessed this firsthand over and over, whether it be at a school board meeting where he's making decisions in the best interests of all of our teachers and our children, whether it be at a school where he is so welcoming to the children and welcomed by them because he's such a familiar face, or whether it be my favorite, every single year at Spotlight on, on Young Musicians, Mr. Shaw sits backstage and he has this ear-to-ear -ear grin as he listens to every single song. He is a champion of the arts and a wonderful, wonderful person. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the board, Mr. Chuck Shaw. Come out with a frown. <laughs> Thank you very much. I told him backstage I'm going to come out with a frown just to surprise Claudia on that one. So thank you so much for being here tonight. On behalf of Dr. Ravosa, our superintendent, and the entire school board, I want to thank you for being here. In 1955, I was a student here in Palm Beach County, and to give you an idea of how our arts and music education has changed, uh, the music program in elementary school for me was very simple. We got up every single morning uh, at the start of school and sang a couple patriotic songs, and then if we did have music, we played on the little 50 cent recorders, and many of you probably have seen them in the past. But that's, what, that's how we've changed over the years. And it's so important for the, these students to be here tonight and to be backstage and watch all of these kids as they come out and have the opportunity to be on a stage like this at the Kravis Center. It's an amazing experience and something I think they will remember for the rest of their lives. For the, them to see everything behind stage and the setup that goes through and getting everything ready between the different groups is something that's really an experience for these students to really have. And my guess is when that curtain comes up, many of these students, when they see the audience, this is something that they've never seen from this angle before. And this is why it's so important for us to always have the arts in our school. And we appreciate all the support that the public has given us over the years to be able to do this and continue because the school board and the superintendent are totally committed to ensure that music and the arts will always be in Palm Beach County Schools. I, uh, I'll end with this. I, at one time, played the trumpet and I told him backstage, I may go sit in with this group that's about to come out. But then it would clear you all would leave and go home really, really quick. So I won't. But again, thank you for being here tonight. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you've enjoyed everything that these wonderful young people have done. Good evening. The Education Network put together just a short video for you showcasing the last 25 years. Since 1993, 18,000 Palm Beach County students have participated and performed on the Kravis Center stage as part of Spotlight on Young Musicians. The School District of Palm Beach County created this event to give the best and brightest an opportunity to show off their talents and to promote the excellent music programs that exist in our schools. It's been a remarkable 25 years. for some great entertainment. One of our band directors used to say this all the time, is this is pretty much the Super Bowl of our performances. We showcase students. It's an opportunity to perform in, in a venue that professionals go to. I tell students all the time, you know, John Legend was there on the same stage.
some of these students that have participated with us since they were in elementary school are now music educators in our district. So they're also music professionals. So it's a way, it's a sort of an entry point into this uh, field of music and music education. From the elementary school choir, it's that moment of <gasps> when the whole audience you know, the kids, the, the curtain goes up and their little faces just shine and they just go, because they're on the Kravitz Center stage and the audience just goes. <gasps> Spotlight on Young Musicians is a special night. The culmination of months of practice and preparation. And this has to be awesome for Spotlight. This is a big thing, you know. Emmanuel Fergil leads the handbell choir at Highland Elementary School in Lake Worth. He spends countless hours during and after school preparing his students for their time in the spotlight. It just fills me with pride. Um, when I'm at the Kravis and I'm watching all of this, I get goosebumps backstage to see all of this wonderful talent here in Palm Beach County. I feel great pride and it made me feel part of something bigger. The students are excited to be a part of this wonderful event. It's like really nerve wracking playing at the um, Kravis Center, but when you have your friends by your side, it kind of calms me down. Friends by your side, playing for friends and family in the audience. A quarter century of musical memories. Happy 25th, Spotlight on Young Musicians. I'm Rick Blackwell for the Education Network, keeping you informed. And as you've no doubt noticed, we have one final group sitting by very patiently waiting to entertain you, the Middle School All District Concert Band under the direction of Craig Denny. Take it away.
the middle school all district concert band. What a way to bring it home. Bravo. Thank you so much, kids. That was a great performance. And we'd like to thank you, the audience, once again, for making them feel so welcomed. And they, they just really feel the energy that you conveyed tonight for them. Again, we can't thank the parents and the grandparents, the family members, the friends, everyone who motivated these kids to be this brilliant. It's just amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you to the Palm Beach County School District once again and our dedicated teachers day after day for putting in the time and their love and their energy. One thing that is so cool, you guys have, of course, the Kravis Center. You guys have the greatest seats. But one thing that's so cool is backstage to watch the directors of the bands when the kids are out there, they're all out there dancing and stuff. And then they're holding their breath to see how loud the audience is going to applaud. It is just, it's such a true moment. And you are such a fabulous audience. The Kravis Center. How do we thank this venue for opening their doors night after night Season after season, they are booked with the top performers in the world. And yet, when it comes to the school district or other community needs, they open up their doors and they say, of course, what can we do for you? Anytime, anything you want. Let's hear it for the Kravis Center, an amazing venue. It appears, it appears that I'm being joined by two of our performers, Kyla and Mary, ladies. Hi. Hi. What are you guys doing? Oh, these are beautiful. Hello. Look. <laughs> I feel like in the Lion King when, when Simba was held up, remember like that? <laughs> For the whole pride. On behalf of all the Spotlight Young Musicians, Partners, and Participating Students, Thank you, Mrs. Shea, for being our master of ceremonies. Thank you so much for your service and helping us make tonight a huge success. Thank you, ladies. How sweet was that? We would also like to thank Hamilton Piano for supplying the pianos this evening. And also the young singers of the Palm Beaches. Thank you so much.